Wonderful to see soils get moist, plants start getting healthier again, reservoirs beginning to fill. Good news here, the U.S. Drought Monitor shows almost half of the state is now drought free. That's huge progress against the drought, but it could be bad news for wildfire season. ABC 10 News reporter Moses Small visits a geologist to learn more. The latest U.S. Drought Monitor update shows that the worst of California's drought is gone for now. Back in October, at the start of the water year, 94% of the state suffered from severe drought or even worse. And now about 45% of the state has no drought at all. That includes most of San Diego County. Well, it's a, it's a huge thing. After three years of drought, we've been pummeled by wildfires. We've been hit by all kinds of problems for this. It's, it's a wonderful change, and I'm, I'm delighted to see it. That's Dr. Pat Abbott. He's a geologist at San Diego State University. He says the recent drought progress can protect the landscape. So right now for 2023, things are looking good. Doesn't mean they will remain so, but they're looking good because we have moist soils, healthy, hydrated plants, but that can change just with several heat waves. So a long dry spell could turn the new vegetation into fuel. More heat, more vegetation dried out, and more megafires, the huge wildfires than we're typically used to. But with another atmospheric river on the way to bring more rain, Abbott says only time will tell whether the wet start to the year will backfire. So we're sort of paying the price for the rain with some cliff collapses and pipes water pipes beneath the surface breaking. But when you look at that, and I'm not trying to belittle it, but you compare that to the benefit of healthy plants, reservoirs filling with water, we're getting far more gain than we're losing. Moses Small, ABC 10 News. And our meteorologist, along with the National Weather Service, predicted drier conditions in both April and May.